Well, hello, folks. Welcome along to the channel. I am the Custard Prophet, and Football Manager 2023 is here. We're excited. I'm very excited. I'm sure you're excited and wanting to see the new game. We're ready for the beta save, and you can see behind me, we are all prepped for it. We're managing in Portugal. Oh, no, we're not. It's, uh, it's Wolves, but um, it's an easy mistake to make, isn't it? Let's get into it. Right, yes, we are managing Wolves. It's going to be exciting. They've not had the greatest start in the world, have they, in the Premier League proper? Let's try and put that right. Let's see what we've got here. Remember, in this episode, like I've done every single time, this episode is more about looking at the new features, looking at the game uh, rather than anything else. We'll have a little look through the squad and stuff, but next episode we'll be focusing on gameplay. But let's look, let's look. What have we got? Uh, we've got, well, I've got a nice little deal here, uh, 2.26 million per year. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Okay, so this screen, is that a little bit different? I think it might be a little bit different. A little bit more information on here, possibly. Uh, we've got some club history information, which is kind of cool. Uh, facility information. I'm sure we don't get quite this level of information. Wage budget is reasonable. Um, transfer budget is low so I don't think we're going to, have to be able to bring anybody in with that sort of money and the squad it's not the best squad really it is we're gonna to have to have a look at it but it's not the best squad right let's get into it and let's have a look at this game okay we've got our club vision here play entertaining football sign high reputation players with that 3.9 million pounds that's going to be easy develop players using the youth system okay i like doing that need to get a top or half finish so we you can see here we've got the sub we've got the um the club vision oh is this oh this is just supporters isn't it they want a top half finish jesus do better than west brom and birmingham if we play against them fine fine we, we can we can achieve that Right then, let's have a little look around. I, I mean, colour-wise, it looks identical, although there's kind of some weird cloud here. What is that? What is that? It's weird. I don't like it. It's like someone's ripped it. That's, that is odd, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just me. So, looking down the left side, the obvious thing that jumps out at me straight away is that squad planner. And we will dive straight into that, but I can't see anything else. Obviously, we've got the report bug right down at the bottom. So if you are using the beta version, what I would suggest that you do, don't load any face packs, don't load any and anything into the game. Let's just play it naked. Not not you, the game itself. And then you can use that to report bugs. If you start adding things into it, you're more likely to cause some issues just because you're, you're, you're putting stuff into the game. So... Uh, here we go. So yeah, I think I think that's the only thing I can see. I know there's some changes with the data hub. Um, I mean, there's some little changes, little color changes. The the buttons here are slightly different colors. I think were they not purple last time? They now green. Might have, might have misremembered that. A lot of little bits of green everywhere. So let's dive into the squad planner because that's the obvious place to go, isn't it? Okay, I need to set up a tactic. Can I look at anything? Okay, you can look at some things. The development, so <laughs> these random little, I mean, come on, little little shoots appearing. They could have put a tree there, you know, a, a, a tree getting bigger rather than these kind of random icons. Um, so, you know, we've got, you've got the uh, the, the war horses of, of Jan Moutinho and, and Diego Costa. Uh, peak quality. We've got we've got peak of uh, Raúl Jiménez, Jose Sarr, Nelson Semedo, Johnny, and Leo Bonatini, who is transfer listed. Then we've got a lot of emerging talents and some in development. We can't do position view yet. Okay. Oh, do we have? What is this? This is a report on the whole team. But it's presented a little bit differently, isn't it? Tallest player versus shortest player. I wonder if this takes into account the whole squad. It would be nice, to be honest, if you could do this 
you could add in your uh, youth team or something like that. I don't know if that that does put them in there or, or, or not. Not sure. So that's that's nice. It's it's it seems to be more all together. I don't know what other people think about it. So I'm going to set up a, a quick tactic. This isn't going to be the tactic we're going to choose. What 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 annoys me a little bit about this? Uh, is that you should just be able to see oh no we can do we can't do you can't select the position view until you've got the tactic but what I like to do was look at the position view before I'd done the tactic so I can see where we're strong well you know there we go so I'm just gonna just dump a 442 in there um, without really thinking too much about it so Whether it suits this team or not, I'm not sure. But let's now have a look what that does to the squad planner. Right, so what do we get here? Now this is kind of cool. So we can see it like this. Or like this. Okay. And if we click on you, okay. We can see each individual position. This is nice. And you can... You can what can you do here? Uh, okay, you can move people around, and what is this actually doing? This this squad planner. It's it's basically just setting up a hierarchy, isn't it? In in the in the squad, and you can see where your weaknesses are, and it's very clear here. We are a little bit down at the central at the center of defense. And so Nathan Collins, who I had in a previous save in there as one of the top top guys is a little bit of a worry he is not uh, not the best player I mean it's a really quite weak center back position so can you I don't think you can I think it has to be in within the tactic and that is a bit of rubbish it, it would be nice to see. I'm sure I saw people kind of doing this and you could see all the tactics you could you could just see all positions because that's kind of what I want. Okay, so you can then select the best possible um, eleven based on wh whoever it is. So I choose they well both both players think it's exactly the same. And oh, this is nice. You get the player who could get in there potentially in both of those positions so kind of like the second best as well that's pretty good i like that i think this is i think it's nice i think it's nice it's at least you kind of know where you're coming for all that information it was a bit all over the place wasn't it, it wasn't it wasn't kind of as well put together as this i don't know what do you think what do you think do you like that do you like the uh, the squad planner i think i will be using it certainly i think it could be improved unless i'm going mad it would be lovely to be able to do there you go you can do the season after like this so we haven't got anyone in there but it would be lovely to be able to just, oh we can show all positions there we go it's there that's better that's better but you you couldn't do that right before i actually had a tactic right it's so a quick let's have a quick whiz down here um this all looks the same this looks the same, but we know we are going to have a little bit more in in here. So we've got some additional instructions uh, when out of possession. So we've got some stuff on cross engagement. We've got a pressing trap that we can switch on and off, which is kind of nice. I don't think we've got any additional uh, roles. Uh, sorry, positional um, yeah roles. I can't I don't recall seeing that this all looks pretty much the same that looks very very similar so okay we've got some a bit more in there data hub looks similar but my understanding is there's a little bit more around that which is good good to see let's have a look at the staff because that's that's been the same forever as far as I can remember looks pretty similar as well now recruitment was one of the big areas they have changed isn't it so we'll have a jump into training which looks identical 
nothing. It, it's almost the same screen there. Okay, the medical center, which is somewhere I rarely go. Uh, this looks very, very similar as well. Got a lot of injured players. Dear God. Damage cruciate ligament out for a year. That's no good. Right. I think we're pretty much the same here. So, what have we got? What have we got in here in the scouting centre? It's, I mean, it's certainly set up differently. And my understanding was that you, it's a much easier to keep on top of things in, in this. So, we have an overview window. Which tells us if the transfer window... That's, that's pretty good. I don't recall that being anywhere. And it's somewhere I'm always looking. When's the transfer window open? When's it opening? And there it is. We know. We know it's open now. It'll say it's closed, but it'll be open in however day, however many days. That's good. The scouting range, we've got that there. I think that was there before. Budget, etc., etc. Scout recommendations. So the focus is that Portugal was a surprise. The Premier League and Sky Bet Championships. So ongoing priority, right? If we move it into the scouting center, let's let's create a new recruitment focus. I this is something that always used to baffle me how it's just it seemed to be so hard. Right, I, I'm gonna I don't actually need this. We we can call it whatever we like. Oh, nice! I can see Loki will have fun with that. So we can put it within whatever tactic we want. That's good. We can. I mean, all of this stuff is in the the other game. But it seems to be just that little bit better packaged. So alone, alone player is probably what I want. Uh, uh, centre back is what we identified as being a bit of a problem. I don't want to. I don't want a striker. Just a centre back. Current ability. I don't mind with the potential ability. Sign scout, so we can assign uh, certain scouts. We can assign certain analysts. We'll make it a top priority. And there we go. We'll see what. So, so that's okay. So you can see that that's popped up up here. It's top priority. That's what we're doing at the minute. So why have we not got a focus on England? Because you've got you're pretty good. You've got two English uh, scouts. Well, maybe that just appears over time. I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, it's it's definitely different, and I think it's improved. But I don't know. I don't know. I think that's. I think that looks. I think that does for me. It makes it easier. There we go. Will knowledge. Okay, there we go. That's better. So UK and Ireland. This is this is really nice actually. This is really nice. It makes it so clear what we know and what we don't know. That's 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 kind of nice. So I mean, would you really want to be anywhere else? Probably, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. M most of the major leagues are covered. That's pretty good. I like that. Let's have a look in the development center because I I love the development center. I know everyone seems to despise it, but. Yeah, I've enjoyed the development center. Uh, so it looks exactly the same there. So it looks, yeah, that's nothing different there. Nothing different there. Oh, no, there will be something different here, isn't it? It's the supporters tab. Here we go. This is it. We've got our rivals here. We've, we've got uh, the supporter profile. We've got 10% hardcore fans, 32 core and uh, 17 casual fans. I like this. It's, it it just adds that little bit more into the into the game, doesn't it? It's nice. It's nice. And we get exactly what the su supporters want, and then we can look at what the board wants. Um, sign Portuguese players. And why that is such a focus? Can anyone explain why that's such a focus now? Is that is that just historical? Sign high reputation players or Portuguese players. We've got about three million pounds in the budget, so we've got probably enough room for one additional player. That's pretty much it, uh, unless we sell people. So let's have a look at the squad. I think that's all the features we're going to be we're going to be looking at. Um, 
I don't want to go on forever. Let's have a look at the squad. There's a lot of players out on loan, as you can see. We're going to look at the reports. So, goalkeeper. Jose Sarr, it's not a bad goalkeeper at all by any uh, any means. He's a, he's a decent goalkeeper. He will do a job. That's fine. Centre-back is a problem for me. Nathan Collins, okay. He's getting better. Ex-Burnley man, but it's a bit of a weakness there. You look at what we've got across there. There's nothing. There's no standout defender, is there, in, in all of that. So centre-back is really a place we could do with improving. So we got on the on the on the right side we got Semedo who is out injured for three to seven weeks, not ideal. We've got left back in Orion eight Nuri. Who I mean looks okay, but uh it's very so yeah to to develop. Uh we got Johnny, of course, uh, and right back. So we've got a couple of decent can he play on both sides? He can play on both sides, so that's that's pretty good. So we've got a good option there. Who can just, you know, who, wherever he is, we can fill him. Yao Moutinho, captain, fantastic. I presume he's still captain in the club. Very little going forward in terms of physicals, but great player. So we'll be happily continue playing Yao Moutinho. Traore, bit young. Maybe he'll come through. Ruben Neves, I mean, he is probably the star player, isn't he? Very, very good central midfielder. Uh, deep line playmaker. We have to use him and have to make the most out of uh, Ruben Neves, I think, if we're going to if we're going to get anything out of this. Going forward, looking at the uh, rings, we've got Ad Adama Traore, who, again, is a player who's out injured. Is he injured for yeah, three to six weeks? That's not ideal. Uh, Chiquino, who's not really worth looking at. But the real stars here, we've got Nunes here. Another decent central midfielder. So we've got a lot of decent players who play in that central midfield. I don't know whether we... Although we've got this guy who be pretty good down the wings. Got very, very pacey, actually. Very, very pacey. He's going to be... He is going to be good. Uh, and up top, we've got Jimenez. I mean, he's he's getting on a bit. Bonatini, yeah, we'll be we'll be moving him on. Uh, I mean, this guy, Kaladzic, reasonable player and cost. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad. We've got players who can do a job up there. It's not the strongest squad in the world. I could do with a centre back, basically. I think that's that's what we need. I think we want to pack the centre of midfield as well. We've got. I think most of the qualities there, so we want to use that central midfield and not completely miss it all the time. So that's what I think the plan will be. Exciting times, exciting times. I am super excited for this. I'm hopefully going to get this out today, as in the day of release. A dog's trying to get in through the door. He's, he's excited as well, and hopefully a video out tomorrow. Uh, where we'll be playing game number one. I'll have a tr I'll have a tactic for you, and we'll actually get to see the match engine in action. Anyway, folks, I hope you are excited about that. I am super excited to get my teeth into this. Uh, let's leave on the squad planner because it's you know it's new, it's exciting. The experience matrix. It's nice. I don't like these little icons; are a bit weird, but it is all good. Anyway, folks, that's it for today hope you enjoyed the episode stick with this series we are going to try and make wolves well we're better than they are in real life so i think that's probably what i'll manage with my limited ability at this game but if you have enjoyed the episode and are looking forward to more fm23 action please hit that like button subscribe if you're new and i'll see you for the next one hopefully tomorrow but it may not be see you then goodbye